This is breaking news from News 8. Good evening, everyone. That breaking news for more people have died from COVID-19 in Monroe County now. It's a significant jump, bringing the total number here to 14. Confirmed cases in the county, that has increased to 436. This is a map of the hardest hit areas in Monroe County. As you can see, the west side around central Rochester has seen a notable number of cases so far. Several suburbs to the east also fall into that category. We have a more detailed portrait of the local COVID-19 picture over at RochesterFirst.com. A new executive order today that could potentially lead to the state taking medical equipment and supplies from our area and moving it downstate. To be clear, Monroe County says they have not received any official requests or orders for equipment. But Governor Cuomo made it clear in his order that the National Guard is ready to transport supplies and equipment to parts of New York significantly impacted by COVID-19. Christian Garzone has been reporting on this and joins us now with the latest. Christian. Adam, again, the order allows the state to redistribute unused ventilators and personal protective equipment from medical facilities in less affected locations to places that need it more, like the New York City area. Governor Cuomo says this is a crisis and the move is needed, while others, like Assemblyman Brian Kolb, say the step is a very dangerous one. But I'm not going to be in a position where people are dying and we have uh, several hundred ventilators in our own state somewhere else. It is an absolute overreach by the governor, and I think that he should not be the sole decider or his administration as to the redistribution of health uh, medical supplies in this state. Uh, I think that should be uh, done not by edict or threat of having the National Guard show up at somebody's door. I think really this is very, very, very dangerous. Like Kolb, not all agree with the governor's order. Congressman Tom Reed of New York's 23rd District released a statement with several other state officials saying, quote, taking our ventilators by force leaves our people without protection and our hospitals unable to save lives today or respond to a coming surge. We stand together opposing the governor's very dangerous and reckless action. He is leaving our communities in a terrible position which will cost lives, end quote. We'll have more coming up at 6. Adam, right back to you. Christian, thank you. New York State now has more than 100,000 confirmed COVID-19 cases, by far the most in the country.